Namaste. So putting it all together, the full version of Setu Bandhasana, you're not using the arms. So you have to rely on the strength of the entire body. It's a bridge. A bridge has to be a nice even curve from one end to the other and it all needs to be firm. You do not want the knees bent. You do not want this cranking happening, especially where the skull meets C1 cervical, the first cervical curve. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You can automatically place your feet in the position with the knees just ever so slightly bent and then lean back onto the elbows, bring the back of the head onto the floor. So it's almost like I'm starting to do a matsyasana in the upper body. I need to press the back of my head into the floor. I need to feel the spine engaging so that I feel it lifting up towards the ceiling. And then I can place my hands over my chest but don't, don't crank it like this. Don't get all um, contracted. So the hands are just there. Sometimes people are doing it here. I learned here and I still do it like this. So all at the same time, I'm gonna press the sides of my feet into the floor, press the back of the head into the floor, and I'm using my legs and my belly, the whole core muscles to initiate the movement. So press and come up. I can hold it for a few breaths. Bend the knees and roll out. Thank you.